Hey, 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 hey. It's Mason Jar Monday, brought to you by Honor Credit Union. It's your money. And 20 in a row country, 97.5. Why country? It is Mason Jar Monday. I'm Mark DeRocher. Honor Credit Union, proud to be in the studio with us, talking to our Y Country family. We love that. Our special guest, Greg Hildebrand, he's the Honor Financial Group financial representative. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, Greg? Great. It's Monday. Ready to get going. Ready for the week. Yeah. This is the last week of January already. It is flying by. Can you believe it? It's time to uh, start thinking about Valentine's Day shopping, I think. It certainly is. Saw a lot of that over the weekend. Uh, just about everywhere. Gosh, I'll tell you. Hearts yeah. everywhere. Um, and that means love. And if you love your loved ones, this is a perfect, uh, geez, and I'm embarrassed to say we've been working on a will for a while. I'm the holdup, of course, because uh, I need to get off my duckus and uh, get my ducks in order, if you will. So let's talk about this. There's nine essential estate planning documents that you will need. And uh, Greg's here to spread the word and tell us a little bit about how to make this work. Yeah. And anytime we're sitting down with somebody, we always want to make sure that their total financial picture is in place and taken care of. Uh, obviously, we are not attorneys, but just bring up some topics that they should be addressing. Um, some of these you're going to want to sit down with a professional to take care of, but others are just some common sense items. So starting off, first couple, um, a will, something to give a list of instructions for your assets after you've passed away, appoint guardians, especially if you have little ones in the house still. A trust is another document to look at, uh, acts as a bucket to hold assets if you want those to be dispersed over a period of time instead of immediately at your passing. Healthcare power of attorney and living will and dependable power of attorney. Two items that you want to have um, just to make sure that your affairs are taken care of if you're unable to. If due you're to health incapacitated, or, yep, right? Exactly. Um, obviously, things happen to us. Uh, medical advances are keeping us around longer, but sometimes those um, longevity um, add to some mental um, things where you want to have somebody else to be able to step in. And that could be a family member or a professional that you've hired to take care of those. Absolutely. All right. And then the next uh, couple, just some basic information, beneficiary designations, anywhere that you're able to put a beneficiary, that's the easiest way to transfer an asset. So make sure your 401k plan at work, um, other documents, investment accounts, all those types of vehicles can have beneficiaries. Take a look at life insurance. Make sure that that's part of your estate plan, um, whether that's just to pass on an asset or for tax planning purposes, that you want to create a tax-free benefit to your family and then maybe pass on those taxable assets to a charity. Uh, double what you're giving and get Uncle Sam out of the picture or some things to address. Love that. Yeah. Goodbye, Uncle Sam. <laughs> and then the last couple, um, some things that we didn't have to think about a couple years ago, but uh, provision for digital assets. You know, we all have usernames and passwords and online access oh my gosh. to items. A, yeah. lo a lot of us are being encouraged to do electronic delivery. So those things aren't going to pop up in your mailbox that your family are going to find along the way if something were to happen to you. So you want to make a list that's maintained uh, someplace safe or a family member aware. Um, and obviously you want to update that because we're mm -hmm. always being forced to change those passwords and make sure that that's current. A letter of intent can be added to your documents just if you have some specific instructions. Um, you know, a little bit extra than your will. If you have some final bequests that uh, you'd like some things handled for you or uh, wishes granted. And then a list of documents just so the family or whoever's helping out with handling your estate know where everything is. Do you have a safety deposit at a bank three states away or you own property out in California? Uh, somebody just opening up your file folder might not know that. So if you've got that detailed list of where everything is, how to contact people, maybe even who the financial representatives or the attorneys that you've worked with are always good things to maintain. Awesome. Yeah. Greg, you just did that in like three minutes, um, but we would really need to sit down with you probably 45 minutes to an hour to kind of outline this with our uh, Y Country family if they come into honor, give you a call. Work yeah. That out. Yep. The, the first appointment, usually a half hour, uh, 45 minutes, just to introduce ourselves, get to know you. Uh, find out where you're at in life financially and then you know taking a look at the big picture but like i said in the beginning some of these we're going to recommend you sit down with an attorney mm -hmm. um, either locally or somebody that you have experience with to uh, make sure that because as those laws change and tax rules change we want to build your professional team i'm part of that pie accountants and attorneys are the other pieces that we bring into the equation awesome good yeah. thank you very much how do we get a hold of you 800-442-2828 
and directly extension at 2797. But if you just get the main switchboard, just ask for Greg. I'm the only one at the credit union, so uh, easy to track down. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and then as always, you can uh, put your suggestions on Twitter, on or see you. Let us know what you'd like to hear about in future shows. Excellent. Craig, thank you very much. Of course, every Monday we do it. Mason Jar Monday is here with me, Mark DeRocher on 97.5 White Country, brought to you by Honored Credit Union. Hey.